what's up YouTube so a bit of a video I want to make here um, this is mostly about my game review my game reviews the the super awesome game review show which you should totally watch but for those of you who actually have I know it's a small handful of people but for those of you who actually have interest in the game review show I want to give you a little preview of what's, what I think you can ex what I'm gonna try to do throughout 2016 the games that I have on my list here that I want to get out for reviews of in within the next year um, I have some here and maybe there'll be some prize, some surprises in there if, if I have some extra time and I know I've been lagging on the uh, on the Call of Duty review that is coming it will be the first on the list I promise you I'm hoping to get it out very soon I have everything I need I just need to put together I've just been really 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 busy and on my other free time I've just been sucked up all my other free time is sucked up playing Xenoblade Chronicles X so just I'm sorry I want to have that review up very, very soon. I am trying my bet. I'm not trying to get it done, actually. But I'm going to get it done <laughs> very soon. But after that, I'm going to go through the list of games that I'm going to try to get out throughout the next year. And you can hope to expect to see in the game review show, otherwise. And obviously, after Call of Duty, the next one that you're going to see coming out is... Definitely Xenoblade Chronicles X. I mean, after that, this is probably this is pretty much gonna be the first game that comes out, first game review I'm gonna end up doing. But it's a long fucking game. It's all it's gonna be a while because I mean I am like fifty something hours into this game. I know some people are like already done with it or done more, but hey, like I said, I don't have the free time some other people have. But definitely gonna get this one out first. So that that's definitely something I want to do. It's gonna happen. After that, still within the uh, RPG phase, Tales of Estria. I started this game, but then this game came out. But soon enough with this, I'll be back to this, and I'll finish that off, and it'll be a review of that too, because, you know, I, I, I like me the Tales games. So that's definitely coming after that. I think I'll take a little side turn from RPGs here for a minute and do the Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. The Telltale games. I'm gonna work on this one after all that. This will be after the RPGs. There'll be this one coming up. If not that one, it might be this one, Transformers: Devastation, which I still have in the wrapper for some reason. But yeah, so one of these two games will be the next one after that. Probably more likely this, and I think I don't know. I think they're both like the same amount of time to play. I don't know, so we'll see. But yeah, he's coming out, and then continue with the Tales Hell game series. Minecraft Story Mode, which I unveiled that I got for Christmas, so this will be on that list. Then, I think people might be looking forward to this one. Because after all that, I will be getting on The Witcher 3. That's right, I know some people probably want to see me do a review of this game. They probably want me to play this game. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm like, yeah, I'm playing Witcher 3 at the game. I know, I know. I actually had no intention of buying the game at all, but hell, it was $25 on Black Friday, why not? So yeah, you're definitely going to see that. And then, a bit of a departure from what you're usually seeing around here, I will be tackling the Borderlands Handsome Collection. That's right! I will go for this game. I will go for this game for the review. Um, however, I wonder how I should do this. So ans answer me this question. Should I review this game as a whole, or should I do them separately? Hmm, think about that one. I mean, it's basically two, it is two games in one when you think about it. It's the, the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2. So what do you think? Should I do the game as a whole, like one whole video, or should I actually separate the two? Two separate games. That's basically what they are. So uh, go ahead and if you want to answer that question for me, please do. Um, there are a few others I want to try to hope to get out throughout the year and play, but this stack right here is basically what I'm aiming for for the next year. I know some of these are, okay, all of these are games that already came out and most people already did reviews of, but, you know, I'm taking my time with these as best I can to play them, so I guess you're definitely going to see a lot of Xbox One content next year in my, on my channel. And if I come across anything else as a surprise, I will go ahead and, uh, do that, but for right now, that is the goal. That is what I'm going to try to do for the next year. So uh, we'll see how that goes, and I'll see you guys later.